Hey guys, I've got a dozen stone wall designs from small to large, so let's get into it. Number one is a small makeshift wall, not necessarily meant to keep stuff out, but rather an aesthetic wall used to set boundaries. Here you can see how I use them in my less build world to separate a road from a pond. Number two is a larger broken down wall. I would use this design in ruins or on the outside of an old cemetery. Numbers three through five are variations of a similar small size wall that I use in different situations. Number three is a clean wall with neatly kept bushes within it. I use this wall on the outside of wealthy private property. Number four offers more visibility onto the other side of the wall Use this one if you want to tease or hint at what's on the other side of it. Number five is a basic go-to wall, not as neatly kept as number four or five. Good if you don't want over the top design or that private property look. Number six is a little more detailed and all stone. Good for a well-kept cemetery or a small courtyard. Number seven is a fancy well-lit wall for wealthy areas. This is my only wall that offers built-in lighting. I would use this wall on the outside of a mansion or something similar, something smaller than a castle. Number eight is similar except incorporate some wood. Take into account the theme of your area and the use of the wood in it before you decide which walls you put into your area. Make sure that your walls fit the theme of the area that you're using. Onto the large walls with area for interiors and pathways in them, number nine has a walkway above useful for areas patrolled by guards. Number 10 is an example that comes from my Let's Build world, where I use it as a gated entrance into the courtyard of a larger building. It has two interior sections, a gate that's dropped down into the ground and uses hay as a roof material. This one's my personal favorite. Number 11 also has two interior areas. I would use this wall if the walls merge with the building and you want windows included in with the wall. Finally, number 12 is the fanciest of my walls I have here. It has three levels and a pathway, as well as entrances into the side of the wall. Similar in use to number 11, except with an extra floor and it's larger and more grand. If you like this tutorial, check out my channel for more tutorials. And also check out my Let's Build series where you'll find a lot of detailed tricks and discussions that you won't find in any tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye!